Please welcome Sarah and David. Everybody saw us. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So today we're talking about unleashing your selling potential with AWS Marketplace. Um, with me is Sarah, and the lightning talk is about kind of Marketplace 101 to help you understand how to unleash yourself and sell better and start selling through Marketplace. Quick introduction. My name's David. I'm a product. Whoa. I'm a product manager at Marketplace, and this is Sarah. She's a solutions architect at Marketplace as well. So a brief agenda. We're going to start about what is AWS Marketplace and some of the selling practices we have in Marketplace, how to become a seller, how to start listing your product on Marketplace, and some of the requirements for Marketplace and APN, because those two things are better together, and then some of the benefits across both, and then some call to action and surveys. So to start, what is AWS Marketplace? I think of it as a Amazon.com, but for the cloud, but for AWS. It's a curated digital catalog where customers can find, subscribe to, deploy, and govern third-party software, data, and services. And today, a lot of customers build on AWS, so it's natural that they discover, they buy, they use, and do everything on AWS. And that's what Marketplace does. And to tell a little bit about more of the, what customers are on AWS, there's about 300,000 30,000 active customers are Marketplace that sellers can tap into. And they look at the 15,000 listings over 70 categories. And these customers can either self-service, click to buy, subscribe on the listing, or they can negotiate with the seller directly through something called private offers. And today, there are about 4,000 sellers on AWS Marketplace that sell. And we want more to come in and sell on Marketplace. And that's where the AWS builders and customers can find you. And that really helps you tap into a new sales channel, a new place where customers can find you. So first thing first, the reason why Marketplace is so great is because we've done this at scale. We've standardized many, many aspects of how to sell. And because of that, buyers can procure easier and deploy easier. And sources say that decision makers cut their time in half by using AWS Marketplace and compared to other places, such as selling yourself or through other um, procurement methods. And what that means really is that you're picking up customers faster, closing deals faster, and that means your sales velocity has increased. And to name a few ways that we've driven standardization at scale, is things like free trial, different pricing models, channel distributors, or things like vendor insights that helps you really, um, the customers to pick you much faster than they did if they were to engage one by one individually through your website. So our first call to action is to become a seller. So you can either visit the website or scan the QR code to become a seller. You would use your AWS ID, you would register, um, start a profile, put in your company name, agree with the terms and conditions, and then set up a profile, tax, and banking information to get started. So our first call to action is to get registered to become a marketplace seller on AWS. Once you register, um, you will start the listing process. And here, I'm going to give a few high-level tips and tricks, best practices for you to sell well. So the first one is to develop your AWS marketplace strategy. So what that means is after you register, get um, going on developing a strategy, talk to your execs, get sponsorship, and think about how you want to make more um, sales revenue and channel through Marketplace. Next is to create a listing, publish your first listing on Marketplace to show that people that you're available on Marketplace, and then tell the world and announce the availability of your product on Marketplace. Then. You want to kind of leverage Marketplace's strategic sales channel. What that means is it's not just strategy, but you need the tactics, operations, and the playbook to say that I want to sell through Marketplace, and these are the actions I want to take. Finally, kind of tap into other features on Marketplace, such as channel partners I talked about earlier, and the various features that helps you enhance your listings. And what I often tell people is that as you get more features on Marketplace onto your listings, you become closer to your customers. It makes it easier for them to find, deploy, and use your product. And that means you'll sell better through Marketplace. 
And there's a fifth tip, obviously, is to basically keep in touch with Marketplace and know the latest and greatest, the new features we have to help you standardize your listings and help buyers purchase and decide to go through Marketplace. So before I give it to Sarah, I have um, one more slide to talk about product types. So in Marketplace, we have various product types. As you, I heard in the beginning, there's software, there's services, and there's data exchange. So to start, the first box are products and softwares that are deployed in the buyer's account, also known as customer deployed. And those are naming things like single um, Amazon machine images or ones with cloud formation. And then you have containers as well. And you can also have machine learning modeled packages, algorithms, and things like that that mainly runs on the buyer's account. Aside from that, we also have things that runs on the seller's account, which are mainly things like SaaS, and they're more flexible that are deployed in your own account that customers can use. So there's a quick, big distinction between things that run on the buyer's account and on the seller's account. Finally, there's also things that we sell. Um, we sell data as well. The particular service is called Amazon Data Exchange. You can also find um, different package data that you sell through AWS Marketplace. In the end, we also have professional services that kind of like rounds this up where if um, buyers are looking for services to go on top of their software, they can procure professional services that go through Marketplace. So that's the first half of unleashing your selling potential with Marketplace. And I'm going to hand off to Sarah to talk more in depth about some of the benefits and um, cross collaboration between Marketplace and AWS partner networks. Over to you, Sarah. Thank you so much, David. Hello once again, everyone. My name is Sarah, and I'm a partner solutions architect for AWS, um, heavily, deeply focused on a generative AI ambassador and also marketplace ambassador, helping our partners, customers, onboarding on marketplace, AWS side. So today, um, since uh, I hope you had a good con con concept of marketplace, what David has uh, given to you, what I'm going to be focusing on, more partner-based. So how this benefits us from the partner's perspective. Moving for that. Partner network, APN. AWS Partner Network is uh, the global community of 100K plus partners, which they are designed in a, a uniquely positioned way to uh, leverage all that AWS has to offer and accelerate their journey from the partner and customer's perspective. So what you see here, partners, how they work is in this global community is partners innovate by leveraging the latest AWS technologies to deliver differentiated customer designs and solutions. They grow by their businesses by having the AWS to enhance the value of offerings they have, like resources, programs, and benefits that drive from the profitability from AWS side. Customer reach, of course. The partners can reach new customers by taking advantage of the global reach, scalability, expertise, and then robustness of AWS network. So the question must be how to join these. The requirements, as you see on the screen, starting with registering for Partner Central is the first step as creating your ID. Second one is the completing a foundational technical review, FTR. Uh, about your own solution, what you have to offer. Could be SaaS and all those the, on the previous slide, which you have witnessed by David. Third one, pay the APN fee, which can be definitely reimbursed fully through AWS credits to you all. Now, let's talk about who wins with AWS Marketplace. Let me adjust something. Here, I would say setting a tone for new partners or customers, let's say, about Marketplace to help them consider why they should uh, uh, present and share or, or sell their products on AWS Marketplace. And in that aspect, we would like to discuss our customers who are already winning, like the opportunities and the stakeholders are leveraging from AWS Marketplace, starting with the customers who are providing them the ability to procure the software through their um, consolidated AWS solutions. Our customers do get this uh, quick access to the technology, which you see on the screen, by which means they can adapt AWS faster. Benefits are available, like enterprise discounts, EDP discounts, and also the private pricing agreement 
which you see on the screen. Not only that, but big clients, big enterprises get this 100% requirement and retirement towards their solution until up to a point as quickly they reach their 25% retirement. So don't worry about that. This can be deep dive into our APN booth and then you can get more information. So um, with these are the customer benefits. Starting with, let me, okay. So for ISVs, what you see here, AWS Marketplace can shorten sales cycle up to 50%. How is that? Uh, one of our crowd strike is our proud partner who came out openly, publicly mentioning that bringing their solutions on AWS Marketplace has given, shorten up their cycle, sales cycle up to 50%. And that's a big win. Besides that, partners benefit from this AWS sales. The third aspect here, sales on AWS side has been incentivized to helping partners, customers coming on board. And that gives us from AWS perspective as a solutions architect or the leadership, a deep eye or a sight from, for your agenda or the solutions which are on marketplace to see how well the growth marker is up upgrading up. With that, with all that talk, I know at this point, there could be, this is one of uh, these two, the coming one and this one is my most common question asked by my partners that, I am a marketplace seller, why join APN? So that's an interesting one, and I would say the three benefits here, let me elaborate more on that, a lot of you might be thinking in that aspect, is for partners that are leaned in APN offers, get deeper co-sell relationships with an AWS account name. Partners that are already ISV Accelerate program graduated, they get much lower APN fees and on putting it on their solution for AWS Marketplace, almost up to half. Partners can utilize partners to business propensity tool, like getting to target the right audience, and which amplifies the ecosystem between the partners and the customers having a co-sell relationship closely. And that those are the benefits of being a partner. So more on that, from the seller's perspective, what you all will get is if you place your solution in Marketplace, the products are scanned vulnerable for vulnerability um, regularly by AWS for you. Another one is you can increase your product visibility by co-writing blogs with us, AWS. Another one I would say is the, for the sellers that are reaching out to the global market, we collect sales tax on your behalf to certain regions. Also, we also provide multiple pricing options like um, contract base, consumption base, and uh, other options on the product packaging slide you have seen, which is multiple pay as you go model or upfront payment, that kind of a thing. Another one is I have uh, the customers who are local, state, or government, federal government, we can help them deploy their software uh, specifically where they need to be, in, a, in specific regions according to that. So these were the benefits of being a marketplace seller, but having it leveraged with APN join. Another pivoted scenario here. Now, some might say, I am an AWS partner. I am a part of APN. Then why sell on marketplace, right? So this is a different scenario. Partners with the listings in AWS marketplace can get help from AWS partner teams to co-build and co-run those workshops together which brings much more visibility, clearly. Another one, more inclined to co-sell. The partners who are on marketplace gets more uh, uh, advised or pushed on for the co-selling opportunity other customers or partners are looking for. Partners with the AWS marketplace listings can leverage help from AWS teams and contacts like PDRs, PDMs, ISV Accelerated, uh, AWS evangelist, solutions architects, experts, and, and much more. So these are the benefits of being a partner, but a few are leveraging also the marketplace. Just a quick recap of what we talked about. Increased pipeline with 330K uh, marketplace solution designs. Accelerate procurement, of course, if you are co-selling it from marketplace, that means adapting AWS solutions faster. Customer preference. 
customers differentiated solutions which are already on AWS Marketplace is what you get to leverage being a partner and a marketplace seller. Substantial resources, I just mentioned a minute ago, must, uh, getting help from account managers, PDRs, PDMs, evangelists, will help you work collaboratively towards your co-selling opportunities. Efficient purchasing, in that manner, you have several options to sell or purchase the solution, consumption-based, contract-based, upfront payments, and all that. Coexist with your existing GTM, go to market practices, AWS funding gets involved, which definitely can be uh, elaborated more on our boot sections. Some of the success stories I would like to mention, App Dynamics, they have clearly mentioned that they have five times higher average subscription price and dealing with AWS Marketplace when compared have a tissue? to tissue other ones. Sort? Tissue or Phoenix. And Palo Alto, which developed immediate trust and collaboration between our own field sales teams. And this, this, this is the part where the co-sell aspect comes into the picture, which has led to millions of dollars of new pipeline for the closed businesses. Third one, Sneak, the average time of our sales is 300% higher compared to those outside of AWS Marketplace. So if you are selling your solution, come to the AWS Marketplace is the key word I'm trying to say. I'll make a point here. With this, thank you so much for bearing me. And uh, at this point, I would like to say that uh, we take feedback very seriously at AWS.